It's unusual, even bizarre acts. Our next guest could quite easily fall into one or all of these categories. In a, a relatively short stint in the industry, Man's outrageous dress and behaviour, plus the worldwide success of his, his records, has seen him become one of the hottest properties ever. And live from London in his Mayfair office, please welcome Marilyn. Hello, Marilyn. Hi. Hi, Bert. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You're looking very uh, comfortable. <laughs> they arranged this for me. It seems quite an office you've got there. Yeah, it's quite large. It's my manager's, Paul Kaplan. It's his, it's, it's his managing office. Marilyn, your, your real name is, uh, is Peter Robinson. Where did the, uh, the That's Marilyn... That's a lie. Is it a lie? <laughs> what is your real name, then? Norma Jean. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So that's where Marilyn came from. I think so, yeah. Now, the kids at school used to think it was very funny to call me, uh, call me names. They called me Puff and Queer at first, and then it went over to uh, Marilyn when they got a bit, you know, a bit more intelligent. So I kept it to show them. Yeah. With that, uh, the, the calling of you, uh, Puff and, uh, and Queen, uh, did you have your hair very long at that stage and perhaps have the occasional dangle earring? No, it was very short and I used to wear very normal clothes, but I, I think I was a bit more, a bit prettier than the rest of the, the boys at school, so they thought they'd, you know, like when someone's got spots or someone's got glasses, in England anyway, they, they choose to pick on you, like, if you've got glasses, they call you four eyes, and me, they just call me puff, so, you know, something I had to live with. So I thought I'd turn, try and turn it to my advantage. Well, now that it's been so successful for you, uh, do you feel as if, you know, you've, you've answered their criticisms and their name-calling? Um, well, I grew out of that quite quickly. I, I, started, I moved into London and started hanging around all the nightclubs and got to be like a minor celebrity in London only, and that... As soon as I got to that stage, I'd forgotten about trying to prove myself to them because I'd like come to terms with who I was. Have you retained any friends from that era? Um, a couple. And how close are they? Um, quite close. I, I don't like to have lots of friends. I like to just have a, a couple of very close ones as opposed to lots of people I know in Egypt, like, not very well. To people in public now that you're... Uh such a well-known name and, uh, and singer. Do they give you a hard time? Um, not really. They usually ask for autographs, which is quite, quite endearing. How could you, you know, when you want to enjoy some privacy, what could you possibly do to, uh, to go out in public and still do the things that most of us do without people staring? Because, you, you know, your hair is very long, the earrings are there, and your, your face is so well-known. Um, well, last year when I wanted to, to have some time on my own, I went to Jamaica with Kate and Paul, with Kate from Hazy Fantasy. And I just had a really nice week of not getting bothered. It was really hot, and I just did the things I wanted to do in Jamaica. So that was good fun. And what are the sort of things you like to do? Um, lie on the beach, get hot, get brown, you know. Usual kind of stuff. Quite boring, really. You're very rich? Um, rich to me doesn't mean meaning have, having lots of money. It's really difficult to talk because there's an echo on this thing that I'm listening to. Rich to me doesn't mean... Um, having lots of money, it means being contented within and being nice to other people and having very good friends. There's nothing to do with money, I don't think. Do you feel it's going to be very hard to retain your position in the, the rock industry? Um, not really, because I just do the things that I want to do. It's, you know, I don't think that I'm in any position. I just do the things from day to day. I don't think, well, I, I've had a hit, hit record, so I'm going to try and maintain that. I just do the music that I like doing. And if other people like it, I'm, I'm really pleased. But if they don't, then it's tough cookie. Really. There are so many people in, in years gone by who've had great success, haven't lasted all that long, and have finished up with, with no money at all because they were very badly managed, and the managers finished up with, with everything that was earned. Do you have good management around you? Well, I have Paul Kaplan, who managed Hazy Fantasy, and I get on very, very well with him, and he, I think he's the person that I want to be with, really. I trust him a lot. And how long can you see your career spanning before you? I mean, are there, are there roads you want to take? I don't 
I don't like to look into the future, I like to live for the present moment because I think so many people spend time thinking about what they should have done or what they can do as opposed to doing what they want to do right now. Which, and if you do that, it wastes the present moment and that's all you've got to live at the second that you're living in. So I just try and enjoy everything at the present moment as opposed to thinking about things in the future. I am, coming to I am coming to Australia on Tuesday, so that's something I'm looking forward to in the future. We're looking forward to having you not only here in Australia, but also uh, in the studio. I'm looking forward to having you too, Bert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? I've got it with my humour, you see, Ray? Marilyn, I was, I was going to ask you something which I've never been for either sex, is a, is a, a sex symbol, and yet you uh, have appeal for, uh, for both, or for all three. Uh, exactly, how does it feel to, to handle it? And perhaps I should have rephrased that. I thought symbols were... <laughs> I thought symbols were, were things that people used in orchestras. I don't know about sex symbols. But you know what I mean, don't you? I mean, you, uh, at concerts and things, uh, members of both sexes go quite crazy over you. That's very nice. I, I think they appreciate the music as opposed to wanting my body. Surely uh, there'd be some percentage, though, that would uh, quite like you? Oh, I do hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone very, very uh, close to you? Especially um, close? Not at the moment, because I, I prefer to concentrate on my career as opposed to concentrating on, on a love life. So I just try and work hard at the moment. What does your family think about all this? I think they're shocked and horrified. <laughs> your mum and dad still living? Uh, yeah, my mother lives in Hertfordshire, which is near London. My father lives in Denver, Colorado. They separated when I was four. You in contact with both? Very, very closely. And do they like what you do? Um, they do very much. I can't, it's very hard for me to understand how come they like me so much, but they actually do, which is quite, quite nice. Do you have any brothers and sisters? No, none. Do you? Yes, yes, I have, uh, I have three. I'm 45 mm. years of age, I'm married with two children. It's very difficult talking to me because I, can't, I can only see a camera, I can't see you. Well, that will make up for that next study. week. Uh, I hope so. Yes, I'll get a nice mask for myself and <laughs> look forward to seeing you. Of course, you would realise here in Australia, Marilyn, as in uh, every other part of the world, there's been a lot of talk about yourself and, uh, and Boy George. Anything you'd like to comment there? Boy George. Boy who? I got the right name? Boy George? Yeah. Yeah, Boy, Boy George. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Come on, you have. <laughs> eh? Are you very close to Boy George? Um, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Okay. Tell Uncle Bert what happened. <laughs> well, Uncle Bert, <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know what happened really. He just doesn't want to know me anymore, which is a bit of a shame really, because he's quite a nice guy. Well, you must have some clue as to what you did or what happened. Well, I had a hit, rec I had a hit record, so it was kind of, you know, competition, I think. A little jealousy, do you feel? Not, not from my side. Can you get back together again, do you think? Um, I'm not, I wasn't his lover, but...